What's up guys, it's Rogues here and welcome back to yet another amazing video on the channel. So for today's video, I bring to you a updated deck. It is in contention for tier one at the moment and I'm just seeing it everywhere. Everyone's locals, it's just topping left, right and center. And this is my version of it, my take on it. I believe it is one of the best versions you're gonna be seeing out there. There are gonna be budget choices in this deck just simply because I haven't got the cards yet and all they haven't arrived. So I'll be explaining those, but without any further ado, let's get straight into this Drytron deck profile. All right, so starting off this amazing deck profile, we have triple of Drytron Alpha, double of Drytron Zeta, double Gamma, and one Delta. In my opinion, this is the correct ratio to run just simply because you're gonna wanna be seeing Ben 10 as often as possible, but there are now alternative ways of searching your ritual spell, hence why I have Zeta at two. And we have double Gamma because he's actually an amazing extender for Drill and the one Delta. Since we aren't playing Pot of Prosperity in this build because the card simply has not arrived yet, we can afford to play one Delta because we can draw. So this is the Drytron lineup in my opinion. This is perfect. I would not change a thing. Obviously, when Prosperity does arrive, I will just simply take out the Delta. That is it for the Drytrons. We will now move on to the Fairies. So now we've got the newest addition to the deck. We've got Triple of the Diviner. This card's absolutely insane. The fact it changes this level to level six and allows Beatrice to be made is absolutely incredible. Sends your Herald to the grave, which also fuels your graveyard for Eva. So this card is amazing. People I see this, people playing it at two, in my opinion, that is incorrect. You're gonna to want to be seeing this card as often as possible in your hand. You see it in your hand, you don't have to search it out and you can search out something else like another fairy to fuel your ultimateness. So that is in why, in my opinion, I am playing three of the Diviner. For our other fairy here, it's pretty standard, just triple Herald of the Orange Light, the best Herald that there is compared to the green and the purple, just triple of him, negate monster effects. We are also playing Triple Lancia. He's also a fairy, so he fuels our Herald of Ultimateness. And he's also insane against Tri Brigade. In my opinion, Tri Brigade with this deck is in contention for best deck of the format. And when you have a card like Lancia that just says no to them and switches off their entire turn, well, in my opinion, you should play it. It's also a fairy and you can also search it out. So there is no reason not to play Lancia. For our last normal monsters that aren't rituals, our last fairy here, we've got Double Eva. I see people playing this at one. I think now it is a two of because Beatrice can send it from the deck to the grave. So it's absolutely insane. You're gonna fuel as many fairies as possible to your hand so you can negate with Herald of Ultimates. Moving on to our rituals here. One Ben 10, it's mandatory because he's the best ritual in the game. Uh, one Natasha, again, very, very good. Basically, when you don't need Ben 10 no more, banish him, steal a monster and go for game. One of the Drytron Ritual, I don't see many people playing this card, but this is a out to lots of back row decks, so I don't see why people don't play him. Just takes two Drytrons, blows up all the back row the opponent controls, he's very nice. Uh, we're playing the Megalith package because this is, in my opinion, the best variant of the deck with the Megaliths. Double Foul, one Ophiel, um, Foul recycles Ben 10, makes itself level six. You can overlay it with the Diviner, make Beatrice that way. Ophiel grabs you a Foul, which keeps your Drytrons in Keeps your Drytrons in circulation for next turn because you'll have a ritual in your hand. So amazing. And for the last ritual is just the Herald of Ultimateness. Just say no to absolutely everything your opponent does. This card says no. It's not unheard of to get four or five negates out of this guy. Just absolutely insane. Moving on for our spells here. Uh, triple Cyber Emergency, Consistency Spell of the deck. Gets you any Drytron, not much needs to be said. We got Triple Nova, again. Lots of consistency here. Gets you one out the deck for free. Link with it and then bring it back. Absolutely insane. Needs to be a three in my opinion. We've got one of the ritual spell. You don't need more than one. It's very, very recursive. You can bring it back from the grave with prep or you can use its effect to bring it back to your hand. Don't need more than one. Absolutely crazy card. Uh, just two of the fuel spell. Was opening too many of this, so dropped it to two. Basically just search you Nova or the ritual spell if you already have Nova. So this is like your fifth version of Nova or your third version of the spell. So very nice. We got triple preparation of rights here. I don't know why people don't play this card. This literally just says add bent into your hand. And if you have the ritual, in ritual spell engrave, you add that too. And of course, for the last two here, we have double extra foolish burial goods. Send your herald from the extra deck to the grave, add yourself whatever you need. If I had prosperity, I'd take two of this out with the one of this. 
Drytron, which I showed you before, where is he? Here he is with Delta. This would be what I would switch out for Prosperity. So now moving on to the extra deck. Okay, so moving on to the extra deck, we have our two Link 4s here. We got Coral Sword and a Palooza. This can be access code as well, it's just up to preference. For our Link 3s, we've got one Nightmare Unicorn, very, very cool with IP. It allows you to spin a card back during your opponent's turn. For other Link 2s, we've got one Nightmare Phoenix, one Herald of Mirage Lights. I don't see many decks playing this anymore. I still think it's crazy card. And we got one of the new cards from Lightning Overdrive. We got Lina, the Light Charmer, who's actually crazy because there's always a light in your opponent's grave and you can bring it back and that's an instant unicorn. For our last link here, we just got a Link Rebo standard in Drytron builds. For our Caesars, we got one Zeus, one Beatrice, one Downed Magician, and actually we got two of the new Drytron. Ube Tafafnia. I play them at two because if they stop the first one, you're kind of screwed. You need a second one and it does come up. So we've got one down a magician to make if it does. So for example, they affect Vela you, just attack with it, but down a magician makes you just get some use out of it. And Beatrice is absolutely insane, allowing you to send whatever you need to the grave whenever. And for the last two cards in the extra deck, it is simply just two Herald of the Arc Light. I've got one arriving, hence why I got the proxy here. Um, your main target of Diviner. I dropped the Entis because I realized that 99% of the time I'm going for Herald of the Arc Light. So that's the end of the deck profile, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy my take on Drytron. If you guys want to see me pull all the new cards, I did do a case opening. I opened two cases. There's a video that will be linked in the description. It is me of opening all the packs. It took us a few hours, two cases. We pulled pretty much everything in the set. So make sure you give that a watch. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you next time. It's time to... Let's go!